Before starting the next chapter on series, let me introduce you to a particular notation which we call summation notation, sometimes sigma notation. In series, what we will do is we'll add n terms of um, all the terms of our sequence. Now, writing it in a concise way is what summation notation does for us. I'll give you some examples and then explain you how to do it. Let's go through the examples first. Let us say we have a sequence here and all the terms in the sequence which are 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10 have to be added. So before me this is what it is. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the terms in between till 10. And we need to add all these terms of this sequence. Now this addition of terms is referred to as a series. Then we say, well add first 10 terms of our sequence and that is a series, right? How to write this in a short form is what summation notation does for us. And I'll show you how. First, write the symbol which is called sigma in Greek and it is equivalent to S capital S for sum in English, okay? Now each term can be represented by let's say a variable because just varying, right? Let's say variable k and say well sum of all the k's so that k changes from 1 to 10. Sum of all the k's so that k changes from 1 to 10. So it becomes 1 if k is 1, this becomes 1, right? Plus, this sign is for plus, sum. If k is 2, 2, up to 10. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 can be written in this concise form, right? That is what summation notation does for us. Let's do one more example. Try to understand this one. Here again, we'll use a summation. The summation says we are adding all the terms in our sequence. These are all the terms, right? And a general way to write this term will be k square, right? k square. And how does k varies here? k changes from 1 to 50. You see, k equals to 1 to 50. Do you see that? So simple as that. This short thing actually means all this. It means 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square, likewise till 50 square. It kind of represents our finite series of squares from number 1 to 50. You see that? Here's another example. Let's try to do this. Now remember, I could write 1 as 2 to the power of 0, right? That is 1, right? So it is 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, and the last term is 2 to the power of n minus 1, right? So you learn in sequences how to write a general term. So that general term is being represented by k thing whatever here. Do you understand? So we write our general term here. So general term will be 1 over 2 to the power of k minus 1, where k changes from first term for k, we want to make it 0. So k should be 1. Do you see? 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get our first term. And the last term is n minus 1. That is how we can represent this, all these terms of a sequence added together in summation notation. Go through this video once again. Try to understand how we are writing in summation notation. It will help us to write in a very concise way, right? And basically, these are our general terms, where it varies from case to case. Here, it was varying from 1 to 50. Here, it was varying from 1 to 10. And here, from 1 to n minus 1. Okay, soon you will get used to it. We'll take one more example. Okay, thank you.